You want to retrace your lines in case you're off a little bit, especially on the leaves. They might have changed just a little bit with gluing. So trace your new line. This is why I never cut out the backer boards until after the whole project is glued together. If I had to cut it out to the, according to the pattern, it would have been off quite a bit. So now I'm going to cut just inside this whole line about an eighth of an inch. So now we're going to glue the back of the board. We have it all flat sanded. Looks good. Make sure there's no dust on there. You can use an air compressor and just blow it off or wipe it off. Same for your back of board. Put it on your piece. Make sure there's no backer board showing. If there is, sand it off. And it looks pretty good. I'm just going to check it a little. Okay, it looks real good. I'm going to spray accelerator all on the back of this side. And then I'm going to put wood glue and CA glue on. The wood glue will cure overnight and the wood the CA glue will hold it in place pretty much clamping it. Real nice method for finishing off your piece. Very fast. Very permanent. You want to be a little quicker with your C8 glue. Try to get a little bit on every piece. You got a couple minutes before this actually sets up, but you'd like to get it going, get everything put together as soon as possible. And then I'm going to hold this over in place, making sure it's in the correct position before I drop. After I drop, I have about three or four seconds. So that looks pretty good right in there. I'm going to gently push it in place. And then I can see it's already stuck and then I'm going to flip it over and that's when I'm going to apply the pressure to push all that glue around. And now I can go right to the next step of spraying it and then I'm going to be all done except for the hanger. So I'm going to spray it with clear spray poly and then I'm going to put gloss on the eyes. I'm using clear satin poly. I have it shaken up real well. And then first thing I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to actually flip it over and try to get underneath and on the bottoms in the back. Right in some of these areas that are sort of hard to reach. I'm going to do that on the back side.
You'll see it's really changed the color of that spalted maple. Then I'm going to put it on a little piece of wood. And finish spraying it on the side. See how that color just comes out so beautifully. Cherry, black walnut, salted maple. And I'll let that dry and then I'll put a couple more coats on.